Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Shalom, Shalom, call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in ancient Hebrew. My name is Abar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach them well and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. In this video right here, we're going to come across this post that I found um, today. Okay, it says, see concentration camp bill incoming. All right. And it says the National Post on January 5th, 2020 in West um to, to, the, the the date June, January 5th 2020 20, the year the turning up of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to turn up and this is just a sign of that man okay if if you've been paying attention so far this year has already been you know a lot of you know shit going on man even just today alone you had a lot of things going on you had this so called um 5G supposed to get launched but they they had um, pushed it back another two weeks, I believe. You had, um, you know, all these um, talks with Russia and Ukraine and NATO and the U.S. about, you know, World War Three and, you know, nuclear missiles. And you also got, um, I believe, today YouTube came in with some new um, gu um, guidelines and restrictions and, you know, um, terms and conditions to their services, which, you know, hey, we, hey man, if you're watching this video, go on, go on bit shoot or Odyssey. Type in I bar one four four because pretty soon we're not gonna be on here no more, man. All right, they already took down one 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 of my channels this week. I got another, another channel that strike this week. All right, so right now I'm right now I'm gonna be using a different channel before that one gets striked, and I gotta make more channels, you know. So, but back to this post right here. It says the National Post on January fifth, two thousand twenty twenty. It's like twenty twenty two. The New York Senate and Assembly will vote on a bill that would, if passed into law, grant permission to remove and detain cases, contacts, carriers, or anyone suspected of uh, anyone suspected of present of of presenting fuck yeah, of pre presenting a significant threat to public health. You see. About presenting a significant threat to public health, and that can range from a number of things. You see, matter of fact, at my job today, they just came back through with a mandate, another mandate that you had to wear the um the, the mask again, man. All right, and they said if you have the V, you don't have to worry about it. You good, but if you don't, then you got to wear it. You know, so this is all just leading up to you know. And I just saw post a video dead how one of these either might said how they started these restrictions again to piss off the unveed all right so you know all this is leading up to and ultimately this man is coming down with action all right 2020 um 2021 was um i say 2020 was talk 2021 was talk and in the end it was a little action but 2022 is going to be straight fucking action man okay you got a lot of scoffers getting put to death Okay, a, 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 a lot of, you know, false teachers catching judgment. Okay, being plagued. All right. So we in the end of this thing, man. This is the time to, you know, be on fire for your whole bunch of This is the time to be doing as much as possible that you can for the Lord, man. Okay, because your life may depend on it. All right. It says remove and remove them from public life on an indefinite basis. So they're saying that they could pretty much lock you up, man. If you are, if they, 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 they consider you to be a, a threat to public health. Which when you think about it, man, this man is a hypocrite because he's the one that's putting, uh, you know, genetically modified organisms in your food. He's putting chemtrails in the air. He's putting, uh, 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 you know, um, lead and um, um, all types of, you know, harming metals and stuff inside, this, inside your, your drinking water. You see, he's the one that's pushing agendas uh, or uh, lifestyles that, you know, promote sin. Okay, wickedness. Why you got bacon always jumping across the screen, and you know, um, HIV commercials with a wait, 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 with two damn Jakes on there, you know, hugging and shit. So everything that he does is a threat to public health, 
but yet he's going to turn that around and try to use that to demonize us. You see, try to use that to come against us. You see, it says Bill A416 present a series, a serious risk to the basic liberties of all Americans in the state of New York, including their right to choose whether or not to receive medical treatment and V related to thus far undeter undetermined con uh, contagious diseases. So blah, blah, blah. You get the picture, man. Pretty much in New York, they're they about to come down with great raps about be Jacob Trouble. And this is going to, you know, um, echo throughout the whole country, man. You know, you got these um, southern countries that's trying to hold out and fight back. You know, but ultimately, this is all prophecy, man. You can't go around this. All right. So we know that it's time to come in. Like, I, I showed you this post before. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. Oh, I don't think I have. I think I, one of the brothers posted it. Let me see. Um, bear with me one second. Put the brother ball posted something on here. There we go. So it's a post that I shared on a video the other day. Shared it to, to the brothers. And you go into these, um, it says, uh, <clears throat> phase five, establish martial law, chaos and martial law. So we are in these different stages of this, um, uh, you know, um, damn, I'm trying to care for my words, man. Uh, pandemic. Okay. We're in these different stages of it. And right now we are, we, we happen to be in stage five. So all this has already happened. All this has already passed. Now we're in stage five and in stage five, I want to touch on a point. It says on November 2021, it started. Um, oh, no, 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 no. That was the. um. Yeah, that's, that's just when it started to March 2022, which we, we are in this period right now. So it says um, <clears throat> I'm going to jump to the, the point I'm looking for. Um, In stage five, it says. um. Demonize the anti V and hold them responsible for the for, hold them responsible for the dead. So a lot of people that took this thing and gave in that you know con consented and complied, they're about to start dropping, man. They're about to start dropping like flies, you know. And they're gonna demonize and blame the anti V. Okay. It says arrest oppos opposition leaders. So this is what this is leading to. This is what this that, that bill is talking about. Okay, like I said, this is the phases, and this is them putting these phases into law, into action, man. It's arrest opposition leaders and po um. So now they said arrest, and then you jump down, it says result, second stage of digital control, imprisonment or removal of opponents. So imprisonment or removal means hey, they don't see, you know, some of us might have to get, might, might end up get, getting beheaded or, or, or destroyed behind this thing, man. We might have to die for this shit. All right. How serious are, are you about this thing? Cause we, 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 we in the time now where, you know, the, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, you know, the folly and the bullshit and the, the games and the vain glory and, the, you know, he goes on and on that these people indulge in. You know, these other camps have been participate participating in. Well, now we're coming into a time where it's not going to be cute to be in this truth, man. Okay? Wake it ain't going to be cute to be, you know, you know to be, be prescribing to be a Hebrew Israelite. You got IUIC saying that they ain't Hebrews. Like they're saying that they just, they, 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 they just Israelites. They ain't Hebrews. They just Israelites. You niggas is lost, man. Hey, the Lord is going to strip away, you know, the little that these guys have, man. You know, the little that they have, the Lord gonna take, gonna, gonna take, and he already is taking that too. That's why these guys are always coming out with weird, weird doctrines and heresies. You see, we are at the end of this thing, man. We are at the end of this thing. And if you can't see that by now, it's because you are, you know, you know, more than likely through. All right. But there you go, man. You, you, you see the post. All right, let's grab some scripts. <clears throat> It says, hmm, what's today's date? They're pushing their New World Order agenda right under your noses. Bill being pre be being presented today that could allow them to lock you up indefinitely, I may add, for not getting the V and etc. 2022, the Lord about to turn this shit up. And that's and that's the truth, man. It's through the spirit of Yahweh, that Adam Pastor Hart coined this year um, the turning up of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai because when you actually, if you paying attention, Okay, if you if you if you watching as well as praying, 
you see and these devils are gearing up for war they're not talking no more they're not finna come around here and offer you a hundred dollars some donuts a damn nick sack for uh for you to take it no more man they, they about to come to you to your door and say hey do you have it no no we know you don't have it and, and we're here to make sure that you take it if you say no or say okay well you know what if you don't want to take it then that's fine you're gonna have to just come come, come with wear us and all this talk about I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, all that shit sounds good until you got one or two options, man. Take it or come with us. Take it or come with us. It's going to sound real good to stay home, you know, and and, and when they say come with us, you're going to you know look behind them and it's going to be a damn, you know, they're going to have a bag in their hand. You know, like uh, it was a movie that came out recently called um, Don't Look Up. And anytime they spoke out against the, the, um, the, 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 the program or whatever. They would, you know, the scene would change and they would be in the back of a car with, with a damn bag over their head. And then, uh, you know, it was like, you know, the U.S. shit or whatever. Oh, yeah, you 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 breached confidential uh, information. And they, <laughs> they had a, they had they had the, the, the person in the car and they would say, yeah, we're uh, taking this person off the grid. You know, drive off off the grid. What the fuck? Off the grid. Yeah. Off the grid, man. OK, <laughs> we in that time were a a, a, a man. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Brock at the Yahweh, Brock at the Yahweh Shai, Brock at the Yahweh, Brock at the Yahweh Shai. Because now we're about to see these, you know, which we already have been seeing, but now we're about to really see these scriptures jump off the paper, man. We're about to literally see these scriptures jump off the paper. And if you have been sincere and, and, and serious in this thing, then you're going to bug the fuck out. You're going to lose your mind. You're going to freak, you know, whatever, man. This is what the Lord said that, um, you know, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. You, 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 a, 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 you, this, should, this should be your number one priority, man. If it's a a, a, a number two priority, number three priority, you're not going to make it, man. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. This is how you know the devil ain't some mythical creature in the middle of the earth with a red, you know, spandex suit on horns and a you know, a damn, um, you know, a damn heart tail, man. No, this is, this devil is a man on the earth. Okay. This devil is the man that's making these man. He's telling you, oh yeah, you got to wear a man. Oh yeah. You got to get there. Oh yeah. You got to do that. You know, this, that's a damn devil, man. This is the motherfucker that got power. The one that's ruling. Okay. This is the man that has, um, you know, um, everybody else under his foot. Really? You see? Because the devil shall cast some of you into prisons, not all of us, but some of us may get cast into these concentration camps, man. And don't fear. Don't get weak. Don't, you know, don't get um soft. You know, trust in the Lord. I mean, the Lord can deliver you out of it. Or even if you have to die for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, I would rather die for the Lord than to live for Satan any day, man. Ain't nothing to live for here anyways. We ain't been living this whole fucking time. We just been merely surviving, man. This ain't life. The hell we got to live for? This ain't life. We, hey man, we ain't gonna be able to live and really enjoy life until our Lord comes and establish righteousness on this earth, man. That's the only time we're gonna really be able to, you know, exhale and kick back and enjoy ourselves, you know, you know, find our true rest and be able to, you know, actually build a family and and, and you know, per, you know, not have to worry about all this, you know. That's really the only time. Right now, it, it, we 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 it, 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 it ain't the time. I'm telling you. All right. <clears throat> The devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, tested, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, which is a period of time. You're going to be tested for a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So the Lord said, be thou faithful unto death. I mean, if you have to die for this thing, be faithful unto him until the end, and he will give you a crown of life, man. That's the part of that trial, man. Hey, we all about to be tried, and the Lord has many different ways and, and avenues for us to be tried, Okay. I got, I got I, 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 we, we, I, we have already entered into the beginning stages of the hour of temptation. Now you better take it full throttle and just go into full blown hour of temptation. Okay, they're telling you now how. Oh yeah, if you want to get uh, uh, uh your, your passport digital, you can put it on this um device and get it implanted. You see. But who been telling you about this this whole time? And who been, you know, pro proclaiming this thing to you and, 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 and warning you of this? It wasn't these other camps. It wasn't IHBK. It wasn't IUIC who said there's no be no time of tribulation. It wasn't um, you know, uh 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 you know, you know those other guys, man. All right. 
just you know, it's gonna come to find we're gonna come to find out that majority of these guys are false prophets and false teachers. Okay, the real prophets and the true teachers are starting with our elders and apostles on down from Great Millstone, man. All right, and we say that humbly and sincerely, you know, for the elect to have ears to hear. This ain't about feelings. This ain't about, you know, gang banging, uh, camp banging. No, this is about the truth, man. This is about doctrine, okay? If you're new to this thing, I'm telling you flat out, if you want the truth, if you want a true understanding, if you want to get away from the bullshit, I've been there. I've seen the bullshit. I've, I've you know, dealt with these guys, and they're full of bullshit, man. You want to come under the true elders and apostles, you're getting millstone if you are serious about your salvation. If you're not, if, you, if you're here for entertainment, if you're here to, to, to be entertained or, you know, you know, start a rap career or find a wife, hey, man, so be it, okay? The same for you. Um, chapter 11. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit hath said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And the first death was when the Lord flooded the earth with water. The second death is when he's going to flood this earth with fire. Okay? Great fire and death and destruction. Thermonuclear missiles. You know, you got these um, world leaders talking about thermonuclear destruction. How no one will, will, no one will win a nuclear war. Well, yeah, somebody will win. Okay, and it's our power, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, and his chosen elect, man. Okay, that's that's who's gonna win. That's who's gonna get the victory. Okay, that that's who's gonna ri rise up from the ashes. Okay, and and a new world is gonna be established in righteousness, man. No more in this wickedness. No more in this, um, you know, decrepancy of, you know, just you know, folly and bullshit, man. I, I, I like snapped earlier because I, I, I saw, I, you know, you don't know, you just scroll through through your social media or whatever. And it's just all this witchcraft shit going on. You got these women that just, you know, blatantly, you know, witches or or, un, or unknowingly witches promoting shit that's dealing with witchcraft. And they don't even know it, man. You people have no idea what the hell is going on. OK, you have no idea. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. It's like in Luke chapter 12, 21, verse 12. But before all these, I mean, all, I mean before all hell actually really break loose, that's what they're going to do. Before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. So you might get snatched up. You know, put a bag over your head, take you off the grid. Next, you know, you might pop, pop, pop up in fucking, you know, Wyoming somewhere, you know, and then uh, Guantanamo Bay or something, you know, sit, 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 sitting before, you know, these damn, damn wicked elites. You know, they, 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 they may have you pop up somewhere, you know, <laughs> underground or something, sitting before these damn elites or something, man, you know, Sitting before these, you know, these people that have the position of power and their rulership and that's enforcing these law laws and these regulations and these rules. Look at this new variant and multiple. Look at this in France. It goes on and on, man. This thing ain't finna stop. They told you if you just comply, if you just get it, we can all go back to the normal. It can all be over. I wonder how y'all feeling right now, man. It says Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, which all these things we are going to have to face. All these things we're going to have to face. If we're not already facing them, we're going to have to face them, man. Look them directly in the face and man the fuck up. The Lord said, show yourselves, a uh, gird up your loins as men. Okay. For I would demand of you and answer thou me. The Lord is de depending on us to stand up and be men and be ready for, for what's coming, man. He already said he, gonna do, he, he, he he can deliver us out of it. You know? Now we just got to trust and have faith in that, man. No matter how bleak or how bad shit looks, trusting your Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shine is all going to work out, man. I believe that this year is going to be, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of shit going on. It's going to be, you know, time is shorter than we think, man. As it is as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. So to hell with our lives. For Yahweh Shah sake, we are killed all the day long. We are putting off, you know, we, we are um uh 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 denying ourselves, okay, denying our flesh, 
denying people of this world who want us to be this and be that, which we're not. We had to deny Satan. Okay. It says, <clears throat> um, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter, at slaughter, for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So that all this shit coming, we gonna hey, we have already conquered this, man. Through our love and our trust and our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. This is hey, this is a hey, 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 man. This, this damn battle, this fight, this war is already won. It's already won. Okay? It was won from the beginning of time. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Hamashiach, so like of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. So, like, yeah. so no, no love should be able to separate us from Yahweh. Which is in which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. All right, so you so you get the picture, man. All right, and really, you know, we coming into a time where we are about to be, we are about to be persecuted, about to be hunted. It's about to get nasty. Here, look at right, this video. Of, you know, it's how they're gonna be doing your kids, soon, man. You know, Jake said celebrated. You know, these paid customs with your kids. Look at the motherfuckers over in the back with the damn, you know, shower caps on, man. We coming into this time, man. Okay. Let me grab this real quick. Um Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, man. You know, this is what we and you know, if you in the right spirit, this is what we've been waiting for, man. Okay. Me, myself, personally, man, I never had a life here, no way, man. You know, as soon as I turned 18, it was like my life was already, you know, my rights and shit was stripped from me, okay? So, you know, er, you know, every, you know, we, we just been merely surviving, man. The moment the moment we were born into this earth, we have been merely surviving. This, it's not a life. This ain't living. You know, this is hell, man. You know, we got, you know, brothers, you know, stressed, depressed. Catching hell, you know, afflicted, you know, brothers going through pains and sorrows and, you know, even while doing this work, man, we need the kingdom. We need our Lord, man. We need those new bodies to hell with this place, man. It says, um, <clears throat> it's the Revelation chapter 12. I'm gonna start at verse seven. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, which is Esau. Okay, Michael is an archangel uh, 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 on the right-hand side of the Lord. Esau is the dragon right here, man. Okay, they're going to try to, when, when the Lord comes in the sky, they're going to try to meet him in the sky. And, and it's going to be a war in the sky. Not literally in the heavens is there demons and angels fighting. No, this is talking about... Um, you know, our Lord coming back, man. This is why they have created a space force. This is why they have created a UFO task force. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place any more found in heaven. So this man is not going to prevail. He's already lost. Okay. I'm going to jump to verse 10. Now and now it's like, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, Esau. The accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. This man, you know, promotes wickedness and, you know, you know, um, you know, feeds us all types of abomination and, and you know, while stripping us and robbing us of, 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 of the truth and righteousness. You see? Then they go to stand before the Lord and, you know, try to, con you know, accuse us. Look at your people. Look at your, you need to destroy them. They're wicked. They're nasty. They're this. They're that. You see? They're evil. They're da, 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 da. But the Lord knows, man. If anybody knows, the Lord knows. Okay? He's about to redeem us. 
All right, which we desperately need, man. We desperately need to be redeemed. We desperately need salvation, man. No other people on this earth need salvation more than us. No other people on this earth need a redemption, a savior more than us, man. Verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. So we ain't gonna love our lives unto death, man. To hell with you, devils. It don't matter what you come with, man. You can come with. Hey, I don't give a damn, man. I'm age. We ain't got nothing to live for here anyways, man. Bring it. Bring your fucking words. If we have to die for this thing, it has already. we have already counted the cost of that. If you are sincerely in this thing, you have counted the cost of losing your life for your whole body. And honestly, it don't sound too fucking bad, man. You'd be at rest. You'd be at, you know, at peace with the Lord. Waiting to come back and turn up on these damn devils. So it don't sound too bad, man. Now, we know we got to, you know, Lord willing, we can endure until the end. You know, I pray that I get to see all these things and, you know, and, and to see it all, endure through it, okay, and be able to partake in, 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 in the fall of my enemies with my Lord, with my power, man. That, hey, that's, you know, that's something I desperately long for, man. To hell with the money, the riches, you know, even the women, man. I want to rule with my power. I want to be in a righteous state, standing next to my Lord with a heathen in my hand and my grasp. Afflicting him as he afflicted me. Okay? Worse than he afflicted me. That's redemption, man. That's salvation, man. People talk about being saved. Don't know, don't even know what saved, what, what, what it means to be saved, man. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Wherefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction and misery in, uh, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. And this man has come down unto the whole world with his great wrath. You see, it is because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this man knows his time is short. Okay. The Lord has created a bounds that he cannot pass. And he's willing to do anything. To try to escape his judgment. He's willing to do any and everything. And is going to try to do any and everything. To try to escape his judgment. Okay. If it's like if it's like if a motherfucker hits you. And they scared. You know. they You try to get your hit back. And they running. They scared. Now that they, they, get, they get hit back. You know. You you you, 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 you can. You know. Sit, you know. You can do the hitting. But you can't take, take, take no hits back. That's a coward man. Okay. And Esau is the. You know. Epitome of a coward. So this man is about to, you know, as a madman sparing none, come down with, come down with it, man. All right. I don't make it too long, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay in it off at that. I praise less was edifying and hopeful elect. It's something to consider, think about, you know, pray. You know, this ain't to to, to, to put fear in you. This is to to uh, alarm you, to alert you, and to Lord willing inspire you to seek your how by Hashem Yahushai that much more, man. You know. If you a man, you should be doing this work that much more. If you're a woman, you should be in obedience to your man or, or to the men of the Lord that much more. Okay? And Lord willing, we get out of here sooner than later, man. Lord willing, the Lord del uh, de de deliver us and have mercy upon us and our loved ones that believe upon his name. Okay? We need salvation. We need redemption. Okay, and if you can, like I said, if you can't see that by now, you're going to see it. it's only about to get worse. If you thought 2021 was bad, if you thought they thought 2020 was bad. Every single day, moment, year, month to come is going to be much worse, man. It's only going to progress. You see, and this man has already started, you know, not now he's not, not he trying to finish what he started. All right. So there you go. I don't want to make this too long. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwam Yasharala, Ababa Ball. You know, Shalom, man. All right, stay in the faith, stay in the spirit. You know, endurance to the end. Shalom.